And tonight, lawmakers in Washington have failed in their efforts to repeal and replace the Affordable Care Act, known popularly as Obamacare. People here in Dayton who rely on government-funded health care say they're watching the issue closely. New at 6, 2 News reporter Dana Smith live with what people who rely on government-funded health care think about the ongoing matter. The ongoing health care debacle over in Washington is a big concern to people here in Dayton who rely on Medicaid. United Rehabilitation Services is an organization that serves people with severe disability, from newborns to the elderly. Its executive director, Dennis Grant, said many of these people rely on Medicaid for health care services. Efforts to repeal and replace the Affordable Care Act have failed, but Grant said the continued pressure by both the federal and state government to cut back on Medicaid is something he believes is a threat to the future of the people his organization cares for. Almost 80 percent of the people we serve depend upon Medicaid in one way, shape or form to support them in their health care needs and in their lives. It's frightening for us as well as them and their families to be worried every day about whether those services will be there for them in the future. And what happens next in Washington remains to be seen. President Donald Trump has indicated he's going to wait for the Affordable Care Act to, quote, fail. Live in Dayton, Dana Smith, 2 News, working for you.